This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Mr. Hegde, thank you for joining us here on Talking Heads. Uh, today you've announced the exam policy for the coming fiscal. Now, why haven't you set a target this year? This is the first time an exam policy has not set a target for exports. What is the particular reason? The reason is the prevailing uncertain environment, uncertain uh, climate, uh, both in the economic as well as export uh, areas. Last year, you know, I set up, I set an ex a, a, a target of 20 percent. You know, I mean, I was criticized that it was too high a target. But I thought that uh, the economic recession would uh, uh, would be over, and uh, the world economy will revive, and the export markets will open up. It didn't happen. But and it is not really the uh, world trade which is really affecting. It is one of the factors. What condition you are mentioning has been there for the last two years. We have had disastrous growth rate. Is it time for some kind of introspection? You think we are really going wrong somewhere? Areas where we are putting our thrust in exports. We are really going wrong somewhere? You know, there might be some areas where we have to improve. There is no doubt about it. But unless the world trade atmosphere improves. Now, for instance, the world trade has grown only by 1% during the last one year. It had never, it had never been so poor. But there are certain areas where, uh, you know, we can, uh, we can improve our performance. And certain other areas where we should give new thrust, you know, for instance, agricultural, uh, agricultural goods, processed goods, etc., etc. And also uh, in, uh, in regard to software, uh, it is okay. possible. But if world trade is projected, as of now, is projected to grow at over 2% this year, the coming year, what do you think will be the Indian export growth rate then? Well, you know, I cannot hazard uh, a, an estimate. But uh, I can definitely say that, you know, it will be much better than this year. Okay. So, looking at uh, other aspects of export, for example, uh, the kind of uh, market opportunities we had once the Southeast Asian crisis started. Do you think India really failed to take advantage of the Southeast Asian crisis? Then, then I don't think this. I mean, we have failed to take the opportunity. You know, when the, the slump in the market and uh, Southeast Asian market uh, was uh, the perhaps the third largest for us, almost 22 percent of our total you know, exports. But there, you know, the, the, the because of the economic recession, um, there is no money. People are not buying. People are not, you know, importing. And that is uh, what has, that is what has ha affected us. And I don't think, you know, it will revive immediately. But uh, somehow, some of the Southeast Asian countries, because of a huge devaluation, there was some advantage to their exports. Do you think India could also resort to some kind of a move like that? Although theirs was natural, could we as a policy move towards that kind of a situation? You know, devaluation must not be resorted to unless it is absolutely essential. And whenever we resorted to devaluation, there was more harm than uh, advantage to our country. You know, it is like, you know, double-edged weapon. You know, we should not forget that we have huge liability to discharge the international debt and also we have to every year import a lot of goods particularly petroleum products and edible oil etc etc and this year gold was imported you know i mean to the extent of uh, five billion dollars uh, you know if we devalue the bill you know i mean import bill will in increase enormously and also our uh, our debt uh, that we have to repay to various uh, international uh, financial institutions uh, will also increase in volume so talking of the exam policy which you announced today it looks like various sectors have various policies for themselves like for example gems and jewelry you can export them by courier but others you cannot 
do we still have an era where we have too many policies for too many sectors? Why can't we just have a uniform policy for the whole country? You know, gem and jewelry is entirely a different uh, category altogether. And uh, there, you know, we can send by couriers. You know, you cannot send a machine by, through courier. And that is, it depends upon... But other goods, for example, not only machines, there are other high-value goods which are not uh, big in size but which can be couriered out. For right. instance? For instance, other goods like go on to handicrafts, go on to other things. We can, can be courier done. them. No, that can be done. But the again, you see, uh, if things could be sent through courier, you know, it is possible. I mean, I have no uh, objection to do that. But handicraft articles also cannot be sent through couriers because they are, uh, they should be packed properly. It should be very absolutely safe. It should be able to withstand uh, the pressure uh, in uh, transport. Uh, but in know, a general sense, do you think you, your policies are too specific, sector specific? We, we have to be sector specific in many, in many, uh, uh, in, in many areas. You know, what we provide for, uh, for instance, exports of flowers or uh, fruits, and uh, vegetables, which we want to do on a large scale. Uh, we cannot do the same thing, you see, in regard to uh, uh, engineering goods. It has to be sector-specific. Uh, 